Hello, Grandpa Knows Best here. Today I want to talk about a do-it-yourself faux garage door treatment. You know, to give your garage door that old-time carriage house door look. I'm also going to show you a small detail that will really make your garage door look better than the rest. And just how simple this can be done by almost anyone. This is pretty much the look we're all going for. This is what a real carriage house door looked like. Traditionally, a carriage house or coach house was an outbuilding that was originally built to house horse-drawn carriages and the related tack. I guess our term garage is the same thing. You can see people everywhere have done it. Just look around your neighborhood and you'll see many examples of it. I think it looks great. Giving your garage door this new look is something you can easily do yourself in an afternoon. To begin with, you can use magnetic or peel and stick vinyl windows, or you can paint it on yourself. However you do it, it looks great and really helps the curb appeal of your house no matter the age. For my house, I decided to paint them on. I used high gloss black spray paint so they would reflect and shine like real glass. I used one inch painter's tape to keep the gap the same around each pane. Then I masked off a nice angle on the ends just to make it look better. For hinges, I used real gate hinges that I had left over. I pulled the pins and cut off the circles, but you can get faux ones for about the same price and a whole lot of different styles. Some of these are magnetic, so you can just stick them to your door. Remove them if you change your mind, or they attach with sheet metal screws and a drill. Take care to mount them the same height from the top of the door on both sides and the same height from the bottom of the door on both sides. The actual distance can be whatever looks right to you. Be careful that you don't put them on the horizontal line between the panels, especially if you're screwing them to the door. Test open it to make sure they are in the correct place. Now the handles. Place them high or low on the door, whatever you like. But remember, it's supposed to be a heavy barn door, so not too low. This is where most people would stop. They would step back and admire their work. But I wanted more. Something better. So I put a latch on it. Something a real door would have to keep the doors closed and the horses in. Since I have a latch, it has to look like it's doing something. This is where that small detail I told you about comes in. The final touch. Something I've only seen on one other door, and that's the line down the middle of the door where the door would normally close. I think this is a really great looking garage door, and it really helps the curb appeal. Please share your pictures with me, and I'll post them on here. Now let me show you how I painted the line down the middle of the door. First, find the middle of the door and mark it with a pencil. Now come back a quarter inch, make a mark low and high on the door. Get half inch wide painter's tape and place the edge of the tape on the top mark so the tape is in the middle of the door. Pull it straight down to the bottom mark and extend it to the top and bottom edges of the door. Now take two inch wide painter's tape and put it to the left side of the edge of the half inch tape. Be sure to press it down as you do it so that the paint won't go underneath it. Then do the same on the right side of the half inch tape. When finished, remove the half inch tape from the middle of the other two. Now you have the line for the middle of the door. If you're going to use a brush paint, you're ready to paint it. If you're going to spray paint it, then you need to cover the edges with newspaper to prevent overspray. Once it's painted, you can remove the tape when it's about half dry. And now you're done. This is what my garage door looked like when I bought my house. Now you can see how much better it looks. Please subscribe and click the bell for more videos and comment below on how your garage door came out. Thank you for watching. Grandpa knows best.